the Penguin Soup Podcast, and I'm here with my first file effects video. I'm not filming the table because I don't really have a way to show you that, so I'm just going to be holding stuff up. I hope you can see. So I have here, I got this on the file effects um, swap sell trade, it is my pocket domino. I got it two days ago, and then I just got this one, my personal Finsbury today. So I'll show you both of them. Uh, the Finsbury is going to be for school. I have a green A5 coming for business, a green personal coming for um, whatever, and then I'm trying, I'm hoping I'll have a purple Malden. The purple Malden, when I get it, will become my school slash personal, and then the A5 will be business, and I'll kind of swap in between when I, uh, the green and the Malden and the pink one. I'll probably have a home one later, but this, this is my current setup. Um, so this one is going to be for crafting, but right now, since I didn't have any other file effects, this is my setup for my school slash personal slash business. It's kind of a lot to fit in one binder. So here's the open, and I got these little penguin uh, clips, my student card, and then um, gift cards I need for uh, certain things I'm doing. I have a my key right here for what color because I do some color coding. Here's my current monthly page. My pages are from DIY Fish. Um, they're the black and white ones so they're all different little designs which are super cute. I like that it's really fun. And here is, this is all I have in here, this is really small right now. Here is my uh, week which was <laughs> really really crowded. I'm really glad I got the personal. This will be great for crafting and making notes and stuff. Uh, also DIY fish. So here's that. So these stamps, I'll talk about the stamps and stickers uh, when I get to the personal. So it's, I'll show you one more time. So it's quite quite busy. I have assignments due. I'm a student uh, and I am also moving on Saturday. So completely full schedule. I'm using my little penguin clip here. If you can kind of see that. A little penguin paper clip to mark which day I'm on. And then I had just notes and that's it along with, uh, I have addresses but I won't use those, and then just plain, plain dividers. I got it because it was really really pretty and I like the, the design. And then onto my personal Raspberry Finsbury. Raspberry Finsbury. Try and get the color for you. It's a little deeper than that. So, pop. It doesn't quite lay flat yet. I'm still training it. Inside, I have a clear fly leaf that came with it. I'll probably sticky note it. Um, then I have my gorgeous page, di uh, page dividers from Personalizer. Then I have this card holder that I'm actually going to do what, well, I don't remember her name, um, I'll see if I can link it. There's a girl who, um, she has a Franklin Covey, uh, the black and white one, I don't remember what it's called, but I saw it on the group. She has her um, house cleaning schedule in here, and then she just marks it off with the uh, friction erasable pens, which I'm waiting for mine. I'm going to cut my head off here. Then I have my monthly planner from Pia Rick, and here's this month. I didn't bother filling it in because I just got it. I'll show you October. So everything's color-coded for those classes. So I have four classes right now. So purple, blue, green, and orange are classes. Black is for regular appointments, and pink is for my business and uh, crafty stuff, which is my business. So like podcasting, uh, VKNs, uh, yarn launches, I run a yarn dyeing business. Um, that kind of stuff. Here's another pretty divider. Then I have some class, here's the class schedule page uh, designed by Pia Rick. The penguins are on there, that's my logo, uh, because I accidentally screwed up and put these two classes here. So that's what it looks like. Blue for my husband and purple for me. Then I have a uh, course percentage tracker thing to find out my grade. I made these myself on uh, WordPress or Microsoft Word on my Mac. I just set the paper size, print size, and set the margins. 
and I couldn't get it to print back at front and back but that's okay so there's just that and this class has a lot of little assignments so I put a whole page for that one and then I have a blank page in there which didn't print properly but that doesn't really bother me all that much see it printed a little messed up but oh well actually it did print on the back that's really silly so this one is written backwards so it printed backwards but didn't print on the back of the paper I'm just gonna rip that one out that one's messed up Boop. there we go sorry if that was noisy and then another page divider uh, gorgeous is a UK brand I just discovered them I got my friend to send me this pencil case and I have a gorgeous pen here somewhere um, I'm moving my desk is messy I'm not gonna shuffle things around then I come to this is what a blank uh, page looks like I got them specially designed by Pia Rick Ooh, that's an ink smudge okay um, so I got her she had a note section and I didn't really like that because I need lots of room so I got Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday Sunday are uh, split in half but they already have the check marks uh, in there because I find my weekends I have lots of check mark stuff to do so here is this week's page I don't have um, washi tape on it yet like I have I have washi tape whoops so I have some I even have some like tape hello waffles some paper tape not a huge fan I like the actual like washi tape like the scotch tape and and these Halloween ones. I like the thin ones better. And these ones. Miles. So I haven't washi taped it yet, so we'll see. Um, it looks kind of hectic as is. So I'm using, where is it? My Muji stamp, M-U-J-I. I got mine from Etsy for about $7 with cheaper shipping. Uh, shipping to Canada from the Muji site was $20 or more, which was ridiculous. And then I had these clear um, blocks, waffles, I'm sorry, with these Studio L2E stamps, if you can kind of see those. So I use these. This one I'm going to use for my A5 because it's bigger than the Muji stamp. Uh, so I use like the Hydrate stamp, the No School stamp, the Party stamp, the Call stamp, the Appointment stamp, and then these little blocky stamps, the checkmark ones and payday stamp. I use quite a few of them actually. And then I use, I'm just going to show you the supplies first and then show you the page. I use Versifying Black Ink. I'm ordering, hello, focus, uh, a purple ink and a teal ink. I love teal. That's cool. The pens I'm using, I have ordered the Friction Erasables. I'll probably switch to those when I start uh, or when I get them. But I have this Univol uh, 5 pen. I like the 0.38 size. I accidentally ordered a couple 0.28 sizes, but that's okay. I'll switch to those later. So in this one, I have purple, blue, green, and orange for my classes, and black for um, just regular appointments. This pen is huge, but it did fit in this pen loop with a little bit of force, but not bad. I don't think, I haven't tried. It's Maybe it was stretching, but it's definitely not fitting into this one. Um, so for that, I will probably stick in this black Uniball pen, or no, this is the Pilot, this black Pilot pen, or this purple Pilot pen. Uh, and then I have a pink Uniball and a special limited edition uh, case thingy. I don't know, I'm just kind of new to pens. I hated paper crafting until this. So this one is for my business. And then I got a blue and a lime green. The green is different from the green in this pen, but the blue is the same. I just really like these case things. They're pretty and they're cheap. I want a black one, but they're sold out. Um, okay, so I think that's all the supplies I use. I have to add some penguin paper clips and stuff. But this is what I have so far. So here. Let's look at this side. This side I have right here, my Muji stamp. I put it closer 
because it's harder to write in that area so I stamp it and put it what I have to do that week and then I put the check marks I messed up on the top one I put the check marks um, closer to the inside uh, I don't know what I'm doing yet I'll figure it out I'll put the check mark spot somewhere else then I use this stamp here to put other assignments. So in the Muji stamp, I put in things that have to be done for sure that day. Like I have an appointment at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, I have to do a meter reading on my house tomorrow. I have to study tomorrow. Things I have to do go there, like my quiz on Friday has to go there. And I have to do a three days advert for my business, so that goes there. And then stuff that's kind of flexible, I put on the side with that square stamper along the side. So like, you know, go see my doctor for fill out a paper kind of a thing. Uh, call for an oil change like that doesn't have to be done that day but that could be done that day and it should be but if I don't get it done that's not a big deal um, I have a little payday stamp so I know when payday is I put that on my monthly as well and then I have a little appointment stamp to remind me that I have an appointment that day so my dog has to get groomed that day then I have these hydrate stamps that I'm putting on top of the Muji stamp and at the bottom of my weekends here. Since I'm new to file effects, like I've only had it for two days, this is going to train me to always open my book because I do drink a bit of water, not a whole bunch. Uh, my water bottle is about two cups of these, so, you know, I've been doing okay. Not so great today, just half a bottle. But, um, so this is going to train me to open my book more. It, it takes... 21 days to build a habit. So I'm going to try and build a habit. I'm just going to show you really quick as well that uh, hold on, sorry. I write everything on my monthly planner and then I look at that when I'm doing the next week. I think I might go ahead and put a couple things like, see I don't have this stamped at all. I just put no school just to remind myself. So I might just put the stamps, like the Muji stamp and the square stamp on each page. Then I can kind of fill it out as things come along, but we'll see. So for quick appointments when I'm not around, like things to add, I'll put it on the front or the dashboard. Then I can add it to the page. So I have enough of PRX until December. I think I'm going to order more because I really do like them. I just put in these, the ones that came with the file effects for the rest of the year. It has all of 2014. Then, this video is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I have this pretty divider. And then I have blank paper. And then this pretty divider. And the back of the divider is a different color but the same pattern for each of them. Which is really cute. Then I have to-dos that came with it. Then I have this pretty divider. Then I have um, one of these clear zip pockets, which is a little, uh, the clear zip pockets from Paper Chase. And then, oh, hold on, it got stuck. The, I find the holes on that one are just a little, little smaller than the file packs. It's kind of tight. Then I got these appointment stickers from Paper Chase. I got two packs of those. Uh, this comes in two packs. I just have one. I got two packs of these, so I have four sheets. Then I left the cardboard, oh no, sorry, I left these dividers that came with it in here. Don't focus on my ring, you weird thing. Um, then reference pages that came with it. So the reference pages are like weights and measurements, temperature conversion, world time, seasons, international dateline, clothing stuff. Then I left this, um, oh yeah this cardboard that came in, it was in the back, and this one was in the front and had this thingy, but I just moved it to the back so it can stick to the cardboard, because I've heard of people's pages kind of getting bent in the back, so at least this one on the cardboard would be stiff, so that shouldn't bend it. Um, in the front, I'm going to put like my student card and all those other cards from this one. This one's not going to be used until I get it set up for crafting now, and then... I think that's it. I think I'll move the stuff into my Malden, but I shouldn't get my Malden until like November, December, which sucks. Um, I think that's all I have to show you for now. I might do a video if I change anything, but I think this is going to work for me. I might add 
uh, planning section slash business section for ideas and stuff. That could just be notes for now, but we'll see. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.